we will start with definitions. Definition of parturition, it is divided into four overlapping phases that correspond to the major physiological transitions of the myometrium and cervix. From the start of pregnancy till the preparation for labor in the last weeks of pregnancy. Then the process of labor takes places, and end by recovery from labor and fertility restoration. Mnemonic. The women complete parturition after passing four quasi-hard phases. Quiescence phase. Activation phase. Stimulation phase. Involution phase. Phase 1. Quiescence phase, quite a myometrium with soft competent cervix, from conception till last weeks of pregnancy. This phase normally comprises 95% of pregnancy. Uterine quiescence, uterine smooth muscle tranquility with maintenance. Of cervical structural integrity, although some myometrial contractions with low intensity and brief duration are noted in this phase. They do not cause cervical dilatation. Near the end of pregnancy, especially in multiparous these contractions become more commonly referred to as Braxton Hicks contractions or false labor. Dot. Cervical softening, results from increased vascularity, stromal hypertrophy glandular hypertrophy, and hyperplasia, and slow, progressive changes in the extracellular matrix. Collagen changes, reduce in lysyl hydroxylase and lysyl oxidase enzymes, leading to a reduction in crosslinks between newly synthesized collagen. Reduced expression of the matricellular proteins. Thrombospondin II and tenacin C these proteins also influence collagen fibril structure and strength. Factors responsible for uterine quiescence and their physiological action. Mnemonic popcorn. P. Dot progesterone. Cause uterine relaxation and cervical softness. Decrease the sensitivity of receptors to uteritonins. Inhibit expression of gap junction proteins. Increase vascularity cellular hypertrophy, and hyperplasia. Matrix softness. O. Oxytocinase and prostaglandin dehydrogenase. Oxytocinase degradate oxytocin. Prostaglandin dehydrogenase degradation prostaglandins so no ripening of the cervix. P. Prostacyclin. Binding of prostacyclin to the receptor triggers the activation of the G protein and increases intracellular cyclic adenosine monophosphate which activates protein kinase A, which inhibition of calcium mobilization. C. Cyclic adenosine monophosphate and atrial and brain natriuretic peptides. CO. Corticotropin releasing hormone. Synthesized in the placenta and hypothalamus. Decrease intracellular calcium in the myometrium. R. Relaxin. Activate adenyl cyclus that catalyzes the conversion of ATP to cyclic adenosine monophosphate, which activates protein kinase A, which inhibition of calcium mobilization. R. Receptors, G proteins, the adenyl cyclus, cyclic adenosine monophosphate, and legends, luteinizing hormone and human chorionic gonadotropin receptors. N. Nitric oxide. Decrease intracellular calcium in the myometrium. Phase 2 Uterine Activation and Cervical Ripening This phase 2 is a progression of uterine changes. During the last 6 to 8 weeks of pregnancy, shifting events with this phase can cause either preterm or delayed labor. Uterine becomes irritable leading to false labor pain, Braxton Hicks contractions. The latent phase starts preparing for phase 3 of parturition but is still in phase 2 of parturition. Myometrial changes in this phase include, 1. Increase expression of contraction-associated protein COP includes, connection 43 increases in number and surface area, gap junction proteins, oxytocin receptor, prostaglandin F receptor, these receptors lead to increased uterine irritability and responsiveness to uteritonins. 2. Formation of the lower uterine segment from the isthmus resulting in the descending of the fetal head called lightning. Cervical ripening. The cervix is made up of only 10 to 15% of smooth muscle and the remaining is the connective tissue which includes type 1, 3 and 4 collagen. Glycosaminoglycans hyaluronan low molecular weight and high molecular weight, matricellular proteins, 
proteoglycans, and elastin. Before a contraction begins the cervix undergoes more extensive remodeling. Collagen disperse results from the accumulation of poorly cross-linked collagen, and reduced expression of matricellular proteins such as thrombosbondin 2. Increase of glycosaminoglycans hyaluronan low molecular weight leading to increased elasticity. Increase of glycosaminoglycans hyaluronan high molecular weight leading to increased proinflammation. Increase of proteoglycans, glycosaminoglycans plus protein, allow dilatation of the cervix without tearing. Inflammatory changes in phase 2 accompanied by invasion of stroma with inflammatory cells, leading to increases in matrix metalloproteinase enzyme leading to collagen breakdown causing cervical ripening. Factors responsible for phase 2 uterine activation and cervical ripening, mnemonic. Pepsi. P. Progesterone unclassic withdrawal, increased estrogen, progesterone ratio leading to an increase in the sensitivity of receptors to euterotonins and increase expression of gap junction proteins. Progesterone withdrawal functions through several mechanisms. 1. Changes in the relative expression of the nuclear progesterone receptor isoforms, increased progesterone receptor A, progesterone receptor B ratio and the expression of progesterone receptor C. 2. Binding of progesterone to membrane progesterone receptors, which activate non-genomic pathways. Membrane progesterone receptors coupled with the inhibitory G protein which decreases cyclic adenosine monophosphate levels. And increase myosin light chain, MLC, phosphorylation to facilitate contractions in pregnant myometrium, and activation of immune factors such as cytokines and chemokines activating nuclear factor kappa B, that in turn lead to functional progesterone withdrawal. Nuclear factor kappa B increases the expression of cyclooxygenase 2 and contractile genes. 3. Post-translational modifications of the progesterone receptor in the form of phosphorylation. 4. Decrease expression of progesterone receptor coactivators such as steroid receptor coactivators 2 and 3 and CREB binding protein, CBP. 5. Local inactivation of progesterone by steroid metabolizing enzymes or synthesis of a natural antagonist. 6. Micro RNA regulation of progesterone metabolizing enzymes and transcription factors that modulate uterine quiescence. Progesterone withdrawal together with increased expression of cyclooxygenase 2 and contractile genes results in increased myometrial contractions, which is a vital component for the initiation of labor. E. Estrogen, estrogen leads to the expression of oxytocin myometrial receptors which result in increased phospholipase C activity leading to increased cytosolic calcium levels and uterine contractility. P. Prostaglandins. Increased prostaglandins production from myometrium, decidua, amnion, and chorion, leading to uterine irritability and cervical ripening. S. Suprarenal gland of fetus theory. During the last weeks of pregnancy, there is an increase in the production of steroids from the suprarenal gland. Fetal cortisol level plus dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate which passes to the placenta where it is converted to estrogen. Fetal cortisol stimulates the production of the corticotropin-releasing hormone, which leads to a feed-forward cascade that enhances adrenal steroid hormone production. This endocrine cascade does not end until the separation of the fetus from the placenta at delivery. High level of corticotropin-releasing hormone interaction with corticotropin-releasing hormone, a 1D receptor, leading to enhanced myometrial contractile response. Fetal cortisol decreases prostaglandin dehydrogenase expression oxytocinase, so reduction in the destruction of prostaglandin and oxytocin. The surfactant of fetal lung. Surfactant protein A when secreted into amniotic fluids stimulate prostaglandin synthesis and uterine contractility. Dot the stretch of the lower uterine segment. Stretch increases expression of the gap junction protein, connection 43 and oxytocin receptors. And gastrin releasing peptide which is a stimulatory agonist for smooth muscle. I. Increase cervical cell proliferation and modulation of extracellular matrix components such as collagen and hyaluronan under the effect of the relaxin hormone. Phase 3 of parturition, 
Stimulation phase, phase of labor. This phase is synonymous with active labor, which is customarily divided into three stages. The first stage. Cervical effacement and dilatation. Its average duration is 12 hours in prima gravida and 6 hours in multipari. It starts from the onset of true labor pain, and ends with full dilation of the cervix. It is the cervical stage of labor. It is includes the latent phase which is part of phase 2 of parturition. Phase 2 of parturition ends with the start of active labor. The active phase which is the start of phase 3 of parturition. Phase 3 of parturition continues till the end of stage 3 of labor. The second stage begins when cervical dilatation is complete and ends with the expulsion of the fetus from the birth canal. Its average duration is 2 hours in prima gravida and 30 minutes in multipara. It has got two phases. 1. Propulsive phase, start from full dilatation up to the descent of the presenting part to the pelvic floor. 2. The expulsive phase, which is distinguished by maternal bearing down efforts and ends with the delivery of the baby. The third stage, begins after the expulsion of the fetus and ends with the expulsion of the placenta and membranes. Its average duration is 15 minutes. Hormonal factors responsible for phase 3, mechanism. A cascade of events activates the fetal hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis before the onset of labor. Increased placental corticotropin-releasing hormones caused increases in adrenocorticotropic hormone which stimulates the fetal adrenal to release dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate and cortisol which accelerated production of estrol that increase expression of oxytocin receptors, increased prostaglandins, and more junction in the uterine muscle. These lead to stimulating uterine contraction. Hormones are Mnemonic Ops 1-2 O. Oxytocin Oxytocin increased production directly from the maternal pituitary, placenta, decidua, and amnion. Estrogen promotes the action of oxytocin through increase the number of its receptors during pregnancy reaching a maximum during labor. Increased myometrial response. And decrease oxytocinase. Oxytocin acts on decidual tissue to promote prostaglandin release. P. Prostaglandins are the most important factors which initiate and maintain labor. The major sites of synthesis of prostaglandins are decidua, amnion, chorion, and myometrium. Synthesis is triggered by a rise in estrogen, glucocorticoid, mechanical stretching in late pregnancy increase in cytokines, infection, vaginal examination, and separation, or rupture of the membranes. Platelet activation factor Platelet activation factor receptor is a member of the G-protein coupled receptor family of membrane receptor. Its stimulation by the platelet activation factor leads to an increase in the calcium level in myometrial cell and promote uterine contraction. Placental corticotropin-releasing hormones. Serotonins and histamine. Endothelin 1. The endothelins are a family of 21 amino acid peptides that powerfully induce myometrial contraction expressed in smooth muscle and affects an increase in intracellular calcium. Endothelin-1 is produced in the myometrium of term gestations and can induce synthesis of other contractile mediators such as prostaglandins and inflammatory mediators. Angiotensin-2. There are two G-protein-linked angiotensin-2 receptors expressed in the uterus, AT1 and AT2. In non-pregnant women, the AT2 receptor is predominant, but the AT1 receptor is preferentially expressed in pregnant women. Angiotensin II binding to the plasma membrane receptor evokes contraction. Phase 4 of the parturition. Phase of pure perium and breastfeeding. Starts at the end of labor third stage and ends when fertility is restored. Depending on the duration of breastfeeding and lactation induced, prolactin mediated anovulation and amenorrhea. Pure perium is the time following delivery during which pregnancy-induced maternal anatomical and physiological changes return to the non-pregnant state, involution. Its duration is considered to be between 4 and 6 weeks, 42 days. These physiological changes include, uterine involution and cervical repair, glycosaminoglycans, proteoglycans, and structurally compromised collagen are removed. 
then matrix and cellular components required for complete uterine involution are synthesized, and the dense connective tissue and structural integrity of the cervix are reformed. During the early puerperium, there is the onset of lactogenesis and milk letdown in mammary glands. Hormones of phase 4. Mnemonic ops. O. Oxytocin. Produced from the posterior pituitary gland, stimulate uterine contraction causing afterpains and lochial discharge during breastfeeding. Stimulate the myoepithelial cell of the breast to the expulsion of milk. P. Prolactin. Produced from the anterior pituitary gland. Acts on the asini cells in the breast for milk production, steroid, estrogen and progesterone. During pregnancy estrogen and progesterone secreted by the placenta prepare the breast for lactation. The estrogen inhibits milk production until the end of pregnancy. By the third stage of labor, hormonal production is reduced and during the next 48 hours, the blood level of estrogen and progesterone fall reaching their lowest level one week postpartum. This lead to stimulation anterior pituitary gland to produce prolactin and stimulate the posterior pituitary to produce oxytocin. In brief, parturition is divided into four overlapping phases. Quiescence phase, activation phase, stimulation phase, involution phase, from the start of pregnancy till the preparation for labor in the last weeks of pregnancy. Then the process of labor takes places, and end by recovery from labor and fertility restoration. Mnemonic of hormones responsible for phases of parturition, quiescence phase. Mnemonic. Popcorn. P. Progesterone. O. Oxytocinase and prostaglandin dehydrogenase. P. Prostacyclin. C. Cyclic adenosine monophosphate and atrial and brain natriuretic peptides. C. O. Corticotropin releasing hormone. R. Relaxin. Receptors. G. Proteins. The adenyl cyclus, cyclic adenosine monophosphate, and legends. Luteinizing hormone and human chorionic gonadotropin receptors. N. Nitric oxide, activation phase. Mnemonic Pepsi. P. Progesterone unclassic withdrawal, increased estrogen, progesterone ratio. E. Estrogen. P. Prostaglandins. S. Suprarenal gland of fetus theory. Surfactant protein A. Stretch of the lower uterine segment. I. Increase cervical cell proliferation and. Modulation of extracellular matrix components. Stimulation phase. Mnemonic OPS 1 2. O. Oxytocin. P. Prostaglandins. Platelet activation factor. Placental corticotropin releasing hormones. S. Serotonins and histamine. 1. Endothelin 1. 2. Angiotensin 2. Involution phase. Mnemonic ops. O. Oxytocin. P. Prolactin. S. Steroid, estrogen and progesterone.